Hey team, Chef Eric Gephardt here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I wanna do one of my quick fire recipes with you today, and we're using a Creekstone Farm Terrace Major, also known as Petite Filet. We're gonna whip up a, a quick soy sauce base marinade and then throw these babies down on the Joe Jr. at 500 and get a nice blistering sear to a medium rare. This is gonna be fantastic. Let's get into the game. So this is a very simple dump style marinade, meaning you're tossing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, kind of mama dips, how she used to cook. Uh, so we're gonna start with some Asian inspired ingredients here. Uh, ginger, garlic, scallion. And I'm just gonna take these scallions, fold them over. This is a marinade, right? So no points for how things necessarily look floating around, it just doesn't matter. As we cut into these smaller pieces, we're creating new slices and getting access to all these flavors. So that's a fair amount of scallion or green onion there. And it doesn't matter, the white pieces, the green pieces, just get it all mixed up in there, okay? Uh, garlic, I'm gonna put my knife down and give it a little pop, okay? I'm just gonna group that and put a quick mince and into the bowl with you. Good. Ginger. Uh, you know, a lot of places I travel in the world, they don't peel this. So uh, as I like to say, eat like a local. Add half that knob of ginger. Oh, and I can smell that ginger right off the bat. I can smell the charcoal ramping up to 500. A little cross cut there for a mince and into our bowl. All right, sweet chili, soy sauce. That sweet chili is gonna bring a little spice, but it's also gonna help with the sweetness, give us a really nice caramelization. The soy sauce as it caramelizes on the grill is gonna bring a nice umami or earthiness. Pickled ginger, we're just gonna use the juice of the pickled ginger here. And this kind of gives it that fermented, funky, uh, again, umami flavor. You can mince some of that up and put it in there if you need to, but uh, ginger juice is one of my secret ingredients in a lot of recipes. A little bit of garlic chili sauce. Again, we're looking for some heat that'll bring it, plus the garlic. Dash of oil just to help everything transport. And last but not least, uh, seasoned rice vinegar okay not just rice vinegar but seasoned rice vinegar there is a big difference uh, i like season for culinary applications marinades vinaigrettes and the such give it a little whisk and that is a steak marinade chicken marinade shrimp marinade i mean this stuff goes good on anything and if you really love any one of those single ingredients bump it up our terrace major steaks or petite filet this muscle is located in the beef shoulder area and it's kind of tucked away in there so it's got really beefy flavor uh, but it is nice and tender i'm going to cut some of the silver skin off and creekstone farms just uh, just does such a great job with their their marbling and their and their whole program i absolutely love it and just taking off some of this exterior stuff. You don't wanna chew through this, right? That is elastin. So there's two types of connective tissue. There's elastin, which is this, and collagen. Collagen breaks down into beautiful stuff. That's what your marbling is made of. But this elastin, the only way to break it down would be to grind it. So we're not gonna grind this today. We're grilling it. You gotta get rid of it. So let's get these beautiful Terrace Major in a bowl. Whip up our marinade again. And then this is gonna be a 30 minute marinade. Uh, the soy is gonna drive all those flavors in there. And if you wanna add something to this, like a sesame oil or something else, just do it, right? It's just cooking. There are absolutely no rules here, but that is fantastic. Everything is working together, driving those big bulk flavors into this gorgeous meat. Grill is stabilizing right now at 500. This is gonna be a direct cook, but we gotta give it 30 minutes to marinate. It's been 30 minutes, uh, the marinade has taken effect. You can leave it in there longer, do not leave it in overnight. The salt content of the soy sauce will begin to cure that beef and that's not what we want. Joe Jr. is up to 500, so we're just gonna bring these beautiful Terrace Majors out of that marinade. 
right onto those grill grits. And that's what I want to hear right off the bat. Oh yeah. Now, while we have these Terrace Majors grilling, I want to do some roasted broccoli as well. So let me show you how simple this is. We're going to do a soy roasted broccoli. And I'm just going to use my knife and start cutting uh, about that high off the floret. And all these little pieces just falling off. Don't worry if it touches that meat, it's gonna be grilled for a while. And we wanna go stem down at this point. A little broccoli house over here. Beef's doing great. I'm gonna shut this lid a little bit so that the, the broccoli can be seasoned with the drippings of the Terrace Major. They're gonna to go together beautifully. Let's shut this dome. Make sure our draft door is open all the way and make sure our control tower is swiveled all the way open as well. Complete airflow here. Been about a minute and a half. Let's take a look and see how our caramelization's going. Getting there, so I'm just gonna move it onto another portion of the grill grate so it can pick up that heat. And you just wanna continue to hear that sizzle. So at this point, I'm gonna leave the dome open to make sure I've got maximum airflow because I really wanted to see some caramelization. Just turn that broccoli to make sure there's not too much char. And now that the broccoli's been on for about a minute and a half, it's halfway cooked, I'm gonna put a little soy sauce over the top just to give it that soy roasted flavor. Don't go too much. That's the caramelization we're looking for. Very nice. This cut just takes marinade so well. And we can see how the, the lines are running straight down the body. It's just a road map of how to cut across the grain. This is by far one of my favorite cuts and Food Network hasn't gotten us dirty little hands on it, so it's still affordable. Notice I'm working this broccoli around the edge, just trying to keep some of the heat off of it, slow roasting it on this hot fire. This is a steak that I'm gonna sear on all four sides. Notice we've done the top. We've done the bottom, and I'm gonna stand them up together because I want that bullseye medium rare. And then obviously, lastly, we'll flip it and get a sear over here. We're looking to drive to an internal temperature of about 125 to 130. We're on the last side here. Broccoli's looking great. And every time you cook something, touch it, squeeze it a little bit, especially if you're using a probe thermometer, do this first, guess where it is, start building context and see how close you can get. I'm guesstimating that this is at about 100 and 108. Should we go get the thermo pin? Do it. All right. At this point, all the sides are charred up. We've still got a little ways to go. All right, let's see. Show you so there's no shenanigans oh. I'm saying that's pretty you're on the grill now yeah I'm on the grill that's that's pretty close man four degrees off oh three degrees <laughs> off come on baby go down a little more oh oh all right two degrees off oh I saw a 109 yeah. all right all right two <laughs> degrees off I'll take it but now's the point where we're flipping these around Let's go ahead and get our broccoli off, our soy roasted broccoli, and I love this stuff. Broccoli on the grill is just a gift. Nice and soft, good. Look at that char. You know, the, the sweet chili is doing its work with the residual sugars and the caramelization. The soy is doing that umami thing. We're packing some funky punches with the, uh, with the, with the pickled ginger. These steaks are just so stunning. I mean, there's a reason they call it the petite filet because it does come out of that shoulder region, but it's buried in there in such a manner that everything's very beefy there in this well-worked muscle, but this muscle is protected. The terrace major is protected. So it's best of both worlds. Super beefy because where it comes from, but because itself is not well-worked, it's pretty tender. I love this cut. It's rested. This is the hardest part of grilling, barbecue, whatever. Letting it rest is tough, but we've done it, okay? Uh, what do you want to do, Dan? Do you want to show right in the middle, or do you want to start carving and work our way down? Let's see that bullseye. You want to see the bullseye effect? So I'm going to slightly pinch, put a lot of po little positive pressure right there, and we're just going to slice. And you 
you got the bullseye effect. Now as we'll let this sit out for a minute so it can continue to bloom and you can see it, but that is gonna be a perfect medium rare. And when you're dealing with something like prime beef, like this Creekstone beef, you do wanna take it to medium rare plus to let all that collagen break down and turn into gelatin. So if you're into rare steaks, I'm telling you, the higher quality beef that you get with the higher level of marbling, rare is not really the thing you're looking for. So I could serve this on this nice little cutting board, but sometimes you just want a plate uh, to give it, make it a little more formal, right? So like I was telling you, it's starting to bloom out a little bit. If we let it sit for another five minutes, we'd really see that bloom occur. But who's got time for that? We got, we got, we got stuff to do. Here we go. Whoop. Oh, so good. You know, there's so much going on in this crust right here. It just places it right in that uh, no sauce necessary club. I love this. And any of the residual drippings or the board sauce that came out is in this nice bowl. So without further ado, let's give it, I'm good for this little piece right here. Look at that. Oh, mm. take a bit of that broccoli, get it in there. Soy roasted broccoli with board sauce. Yep. There it is. I freaking love broccoli off the grill. I wasn't joking when I said quick fire. So 30 minutes on that marinade. I don't know, six, seven minutes on the grill, searing all sides till we got to that 120-ish uh, mark. Absolutely brilliant. Terrace major, put it on your list. Uh, put it on your put it on your next five hit list. Okay, get it on there uh, Folks if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy cooking it for you Do me a favor hit that subscribe button hit that notification so you don't miss a thing Don't forget to throw us a like and do leave us a comment from our backyard to yours. Cheers and happy growing